Thanks for checking out this video of how to play San Lorenzo by Pat Metheny and Lyle Mays. This is a pretty tricky song and um, requires a special guitar and special tuning. So if you're here and you want to learn the song, let's get right to it. You probably want to know about the tuning and the guitar. I happen to get lucky and have a friend who has a 12 string electric guitar. This is a 1974 Rickenbacker uh, 12 string in basically mint condition. It mostly stays in a case and has for decades. It's a gorgeous guitar, but uh, as you might see and no might have noticed already, the capo is on the first fret because the nut and bridge are not filed for this particular set of strings. Um, you'll also poss possibly have noticed that all of the strings are plain steel strings, except for the lowest string, which is a wound string. But it's pretty high, high tuning uh, on the guitar. So most of the strings are plain steel. Um, and all of the string pairs, except for the first set, are tuned in fifths. So I'm going to say the lowest note of each set of fifths, and then the highest strings will be unison and F. So lowest is E flat, then F. A flat, B flat, C, and F in unison. Most of the uh, song is built around harmonics at the 12th, 7th, and 5th frets. On the lowest four sets of strings. So, it opens up with harmonics played on two string sets, ascending on the 12th fret and then back on the 7th fret. And it's really tricky timing if you play it live. Um, so what I do is I listen for the fretless bass arpeggio. Once it hits that high note, that's when you hit that harmonic. Uh, and then Pat adds color with other harmonics throughout. That's at the 12th fret. And then he plays a couple of simple melodies, and any melodies on this song are played on the unison F string. So once you figure out the timing using that basic information, you're ready to move on to the next section, which uh, is mostly based on the harmonics at the 12th, 7th, and 5th frets, but with a descending bass line on the 6th string set. So start at the 10th fret. Then you're going to move down to the 5th fret and play the 7th fret harmonics. 4th fret. Then 3rd fret with the 5th fret harmonics. So the key things to note here are you really want those high harmonics of the, you know, the higher string um, of each string pair. You want to hear that harmonic. So what I do with the pick is I play an upstroke, but I saw a video of Pat and he plays with his fingers and plucks with his fingernail. So, so you get more of that higher string, higher harmonic tone uh, or note because you're playing the uh, higher string first. And as you strike through the string, you'll get probably a little less pick or nail on the lower of the string pairs. And if you play all downstrokes, it sounds kind of weird. You really want to do upstrokes. Then he goes back into the harmonics. Mm -hmm. 
Then it goes into what I call the bossa nova section. And I primarily stick to um, a few shapes in this. So here's one chord. Kind of like an E sus4 on standard tuning. And then C flat5. idea what Pat is actually playing there, but that's what I play. And then I, um, I don't know if this is right, but this is what I hear. Um, he plays kind of like three shapes. One is like a fourth in standard tuning, then a flat five, and then a fifth. At the tenth fret on the second string, just tenth to twelfth tenth, and then I play this chord. I don't know if it's correct, but it's got that nice major seventh feel, and I think of it more like a C with a G, um, you know, high G shape on standard tuning. But I'm not going to play the fourth string set. I'm going to mute that with my ring finger. That's at the 10th fret. Then he goes back to vamping on those chords. And then there's a melodic part. And then uh, back to vamping, and then there's the har harmony of that line. And then back to the... And he adds these little leads. Back to that descending bass line. And then there's a solo, again played on that first string pair. and then harmonics that come in slowly. Then there's a very long piano solo. It's beautiful, but as far as I can tell, Pat doesn't play anything there until Lyle comes back in with what I call the Elton John section, uh, which goes like this, or at least what I think goes like this. <laughs> So, basically ascending the second fret to the third um, from the fifth string. It's like a C major seven in standard tuning. And then at the um, seventh fret, bar the second and third string pairs uh, at the 10th fret. Then you 
should be able to get the rest of the song from there. Uh, it's mostly a matter of feel and waiting. <laughs> Patience. Uh, it goes very slow through the end, and then it ends on that original harmonic riff. So yeah, that's San Lorenzo, as far as I can tell. I know there's stuff that I'm missing that's color and highlight, um, but as far as if you want to learn the song and be able to play it live, while what I'm playing may not be what Pat plays, and I know that there are some real <laughs> devoted fans of Pat who know, you know everything that he plays, uh, I'm just trying to play it to play it. And I believe that the parts that I've provided here will give you enough content, enough you know, musical material that you can at least fake your way through the song should you find yourself playing it, as I did, <laughs> uh, with a band. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you give the song a shot. Let me know where I went wrong. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I would love to um, end this video with a full play along of the song, however, um, the copyright restrictions are so tight on this song, even when I like add a ton of reverb and you know really EQ a whole bunch of the musical material out of a backing track, YouTube just doesn't let me publish it. So I'm going to um, just play along with it without any backing track. I mean, I'll hear a backing track, but you'll just have to imagine it with your wonderful ears. <laughs> thanks for checking out the video. Again, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks to the YouTube commenters who help keep Pat's music accurately played, guitars accurately tuned and strung, and uh, maintain the integrity of what he's after. <laughs>